Coming into the world with eyes wide open, I was eager to explore and take on any challenge. My brother Kyle said I was the best thing since Christmas. My parents saw it as a blessing that I was a petite yet healthy baby since earlier medical tests had predicted that I would be born with Down syndrome. As a toddler, I enjoyed adventures such as flips off the diving board and climbing into cabinets. Yet, even as a child, I did not neglect academics. Many days I sat in baskets and taught myself to read. When I was two, my sister Erin was born, the prime student for me to teach. Although I don't think my sister always enjoyed my teaching, the time we spent together strengthened our relationship. Through thick and thin, my sister and I have stuck together, and Erin's one reason why I'm still a kid at heart. I've always loved children. I began babysitting at a young age and volunteered at my church in preschool classes and during vacation Bible school. The past two summers I've worked at a camp for children and adults with disabilities, where I've grown tremendously and perhaps even found my true calling as a special educator. I never would have guessed that my early experiences with children with disabilities would serve as building blocks for my college education. Today I'm a junior at Mercy University in the Holistic Child Program. One day I hope to enter my classroom fully capable to take on any challenge. Mercer's conceptual framework for the transforming practitioner is preparing me for the classroom through my classes and more importantly, through my fieldwork experiences. These past two years have taught me the importance of engagement, collaboration, and diversity. Engagement. As a future educator, I understand the importance of keeping every child actively engaged in the classroom. Many children easily slip through the cracks at school and fall behind. Many of those children come from low-income families or have a disability. As an educator, I see the necessity to meet every child on his or her level and assess the unique needs of each individual. In order to keep my students engaged, I need to know their interests and teach according to their learning style. Collaboration. At Mercer, I have learned the importance of working together both in and out of the classroom. As John Lennon puts it, a dream you dream alone is only a dream. A dream you dream together is reality. I aspire to see every child in my classroom achieve their dreams. Paving the way for children to reach their goals is made easier when educators work together to make dreams a reality. Diversity. My fieldwork experiences have provided numerous opportunities for me to experience diversity in the classroom. I have worked with children with special needs, children with no parental support, and children with little motivation to achieve. Each child is unique. As an educator, it's necessary to apply that knowledge in the classroom. Teaching is not an easy job, and tending to the diverse needs of each child makes the job that much harder. Meeting the challenge is well worth the reward of seeing a child smile. I look forward to making a difference in every child's life that enters my classroom. Education goes far beyond the school building, but if I could plant a seed of hope for children to follow their dreams, the hard work and challenges of being a teacher will not matter. Each child has so much to offer to the world. Children are the face of our future. What a wonderful world.